I'm Steve Gill with your daily video notes for January 4th, 2012. Well, the Iowa caucuses are done, and now we move our attention to New Hampshire. In fact, we'll be coming to you from Manchester, New Hampshire on Monday, the 9th and 10th of January, where all the action's going to heat up in a place that uh, has always been surprising for Republican and Democrat nominees in the past. Now, the fourth place finisher in Iowa, Newt Gingrich, will move ahead to New Hampshire, but more importantly, he's focusing his attention on South Carolina. Newt has to feel pretty good about what happened in Iowa, because that's the same position that John McCain came from to win the nomination last time. But the top three finishers in Iowa are the ones that really have the momentum as they move to the next states. Rick Santorum, who came up late but surged to a narrow, narrow second place finish just behind Mitt Romney, about an eight vote margin separating them. Santorum has to see whether he can raise the money, create the organization, and keep the momentum as they roll into New Hampshire. Not exactly a great uh, opportunity for him there, but then into South Carolina, where he's going to get real scrutiny for the next 10 days, the first time he's had to sustain that. And then you've got Mitt Romney who is trying to base his campaign on inevitability. Winning in Iowa was a big boost to that. Winning big in New Hampshire will help, but then he has to sustain what will probably be a loss in New Hampshire to rebound again in Florida. If he does that, he's back on track with the inevitability argument. Finally, you've got Ron Paul. Things were shaped up well for Ron Paul in Iowa. You could have anybody vote, whether they were Republicans, Democrats, or Independents in the caucuses, and Ron Paul was able to turn out about 25,000 people, with over half of them being non-Republicans in Iowa. He's got that same advantage in New Hampshire. You don't have to be an actual Republican to vote in the New Hampshire primaries. Again, relatively low turnout helps Ron Paul mobilize his very committed voters even those across the aisle from the Republican Party. So you've got three tickets punched to move ahead, clearly, with Mitt Romney, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul. Newt Gingrich still hanging on. Rick Perry has retreated to Texas to decide whether he stays in, and Michelle Bachman looks like she's out as well. So the field is narrowing. We'll see what happens as we move to the tougher states ahead, South Carolina, Florida, Super Tuesday, a lot of battle to come, and a lot of money to be spent. We'll see who wins at the end of the day. Right now, looks like Mitt Romney's to lose, but surprising things have happened in the presidential process before, and don't count 2012 out until we get to the end of the game. I'm Steve Gill. We'll have more as we come into Manchester, New Hampshire, Monday and Tuesday, live from the New Hampshire primary, right here on The Steve Gill Show.